Hey folks, Vortex here and welcome to my review of the FQ Audio SQ6 DAC. As you can see, this is quite a plain box. Um, and yeah, never, never really dealt with this company before, so this is meant to be like some sort of DAC solution. Obviously, we'll have a good look at it and yeah, see what it's like. So yeah, as usual, full disclaimers, I'd like to thank Linsol for sending this out to try. So thank you very much. I was not paid to this video and all thoughts and opinions are my own, obviously as per usual. This is high quality audio equipment, according to them. And yeah, let's just get into it. So let's see what you get. So the box is very basic. You can see SQ6. I don't really know much about this kind of product. It looks like it advertises a DAC, but it's got a headphone amp on the back or headphone out, so we'll see. Obviously website information there. And it's just a white box. So a bit of padding, a bit of paperwork. So let's have a look. So yeah, DAC SQ6, operation manual, obviously we'll have a look at all this stuff in a bit, tells you what the back panel does, kind of how you actually use it, button, so it's got volume control, you can change to USB 1.0, pause that if you want to have a good read, so on the back again connection guide, it's connected to amps, Specs, so it's got the ESS 9038Q 2M, which is good. There's the chipset. You can see what it supports up to 32 bit 384 coaxial supports. Actually, it's quite a lot. So, headphone out, which is on the back, which we'll have a look at a sec 216 watts 32 ohm. So, that's kind of the output of a really good dongle kind of DAC. And this is USB power as well. It's the size of it, so it's not that big. So, that's that cable so it should be yeah so USB-C the full size type A yeah quite a weird device I don't think I haven't seen any real real feedback so yeah obviously all metal uh, metal so you can see that there is for the uh, as you can see USB 1 and USB 2 so for consoles on and select volume Obviously, each one lights up for what it is. So, USB in, game console supported. So, it's got two opticals in and out, coaxial in. RCA is out. Um, obviously, in the headphone jack, it says it supports microphone, but on the back. Um, and that's it. I have no idea what this is like, but it looks like it's USB powered. So, yeah, after a bunch of time, I'll see what this is like. And, yeah, I'll see you in the future, guys. So welcome to my review section of the FX Audio DAC SQ6. And this is way more than just a, a DAC. And I'm going to overlay an image now of what it actually looks like in use and size. So in the image you see that's my Topping E30 DAC. And see the lights on the front. Now in relation to that topping light, it's about that brightness. It, and it's red. It's not as bright as it looks. I just wanted kind of an image size. And it's on my, the DAC a bit wonky because the RCA cables are quite stiff. But that's how I used it, obviously, when I tried that as an amp, which I'll get to in a bit with the RCAs out. Now, have a look on the front and I'll explain my thoughts and opinions while I go through. So you got on and select. So by default, it's on. You hold it to turn it off. And when you press select, it changes between USB, optical, and coaxial, obviously in the image you saw USB was lit and PSM was lit, obviously you can use the others, there's also drivers for this, I didn't try them because I didn't need to, Windows 10's plug and play, you probably need them for like ASIO drivers or maybe for Windows 7 or something like that, so yeah, so on and obviously change modes because it's by default it's USB, then you press that, it goes to optical, then again to coaxial, then it goes back to the beginning. So volume is, you can do it in steps. That's how loud it is. Or you can hold it to do it faster. Obviously, you can see that's the brand, the, well, the model. There's an SQ3 model than it, as this, which is a bit different. And cheaper, which I haven't tried. Obviously, you can see from here the holes. That's where they all light up. Obviously, USB 1.0 is for consoles, which is here. Um, in the image, it says like a PS5. Unfortunately, I don't have a PS5 to test it with, but in theory, it should work without a problem. There you go, by default, I got it on. Uh, I did try with the PS4 briefly, and it did work. So, 
um, back. So USB just power and data. That's how I mainly did my testing with this. It's quite unique. It has a coaxial in and out. So in the description they say you could use it in your, like part of a car stereo system. Um, I couldn't test that because I, I just used my inbuilt car audio. You know, my for my car there's no aftermarket parts, so I couldn't test that. You can use it with like um, your TV and home cinema systems, but I don't see any issue with anything like that. Uh, yeah, so cracks are done. I didn't try that. Again, there's your two op opticals, and this does light up red when it's plugged in. So RCA is out. It says in the, in the description it is line out, but it's not. Um, I'll get to that in a sec. And that's a 3.5 jack, and yes, it does support microphones. Uh, you know, like for, um, you know, four pole. So, coming on with this, so, that's one of the quirks. This is on the back, not the front. That might be useful for your setup, or it might be detrimental for your setup. But yeah, the RCAs, they, so, how I, how I tried it is, you can leave the RCAs in to go to another amp, but if the headphone is in, they don't work. So, as soon as you unplug, the basically, the headphone's got priority. You unplug the headphone, then the RCAs work. But that's a pre-out, not a line-out. So that controls the volume of the back. So if you want decent power to say like the amp, and my test setup was the Topping L30. So I had to obviously push that to something similar to what the L30, sorry, my E30 DAC did. Um, we have to push that quite high. But as soon as you use headphones, it's super loud. So just just bear that in mind. It doesn't differ, differentiate. It's like the same. So yeah, you can just you can you have to be careful of that. That's one thing I don't like. So you pull it. You obviously you're pushing out voltage at the back. Then as soon as you plug that out, it's super loud at the front. So every time you switch, you have to lower the volume, especially for your earphones. So just bear that in mind. So let's talk about the kind of things it functions. So. Functionality, this has no filters. It uses the Sabre ESS 9038Q2M. Great DAC. Seems to imp be implemented quite well. Um, obviously, you've seen what these look like. The, the only options are red, which is fine, to be honest. No problems with that. So, power use, I think it's about 260 milliwatts at 32 ohm. So, this has the same kind of power output as like a good dongle DAC. Um, and it seems to be as powerful as a dongle DAC. Again, the volume control is kind of different. So, like I say, if you're used to a dongle DAC, the volume is kind of the same. Again, it's, there's a lot. Of, there's a lot of steps. No issues with it at all, or anything like that. Um, I tried this with Windows 10, plug and play, not a problem. Like I said, there's also drivers. I don't know what they do because in the website it doesn't state exactly what it does. I will try and link the manufacturer's website in the description so you can click it and have a look. Um, yeah, so sound of this. So what does it sound like? It just sounds like, to me, the sound quality of this is like using a quality dongle DAC. This is an $80 part as well, so it's the same kind of money as a good dongle DAC, but it's got a lot more functionality. But it is bigger. So sound quality is, is very good. It's a detailed set. It sounds like a... Um, it just sounds like a good quality dongle DAC, really, in a kind of different form factor. Not much to say, really. It's detailed. Everything is where it should be. I don't know. It's kind of hard to describe, really. It just sounds good. It sounds very good. I'm quite happy with the sound quality. Now, a dongle DAC of this kind of power output is normally quite warm to the touch. This isn't. So when you're playing your music or you're playing audio, this doesn't get warm. So that's quite good. Uh, noise floor as well is an interesting thing. So I tried a couple of uh, so headphone I tried was the Civica Phoenix. That's fine. So a couple of IMs I tried at the back was the uh, Celeste Wyvern because that's a four pole. Uh, works absolutely fine. The microphone on this works fine as well. Not a problem at all. Windows detects it as DAC. I think SQ6 in Windows. And yes, so you can adjust the microphone. And one thing as well is this supports independent volume control, which is which I like. So you can press the volume on the back, and that doesn't affect Windows volume. Uh, yeah. And I tried the key find Delchi, not a problem at all. And I tried a plain IM, no, no, um, no problem at all. 
uh, yeah, so that's that. Does the SD, if that really matters to you. So enough waffling on. What do I think of the SQ6? I like it. It seems a little bare bones and it's a bit odd. So the things I don't like really is two items. Everything else is fine, is I don't like. If you switch between RCA and the headphone jack, which you have to pull out, it's super loud if you go back to headphones. So you have to bear that in mind. It should would have been good if they could get away around that, but maybe they can't. Um, and what else is there? Yeah. So that and basically having a headphone jack on the back. Be good if there could be a switch for line out, pre out, or uh, a way to switch between. Yeah. It switch or switch between headphones and the RCA at the back, which topping does. But again, this is much cheaper. Shame I couldn't try it on the PS5. But yeah, good um good thing. I think they've kind of underpriced it. I was expecting this to cost more than $80 for what it can do, especially with that kind of output. Um and that, I think that's pretty much it. If you think I've missed anything, please do let me know in the comments, as per usual. Thanks for watching, take care, and yeah. I'll see you in the next video.